Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on one important example program in C programming. Write a C program to merge the contents of two files into another file. So here first we are taken two files. File 1 some information is there. File 2 some information is there. Now we have to match file 1 and file 2. So that information is transferred to file 3. So this is the program. So hash include stdigo.h hash include conio.h void main file pointer fp1 pointer fp2 pointer fp3 char ch1 comma ch2 semicolon so clr str fp1 is equal to F open first file is input dot input one dot c so that is in read mode next fp2 is equal to f open input two dot c Again, read mode. Next, FP3 is equal to F open output dot C write mode. Okay. CH1 is equal to F get C of FP1 while CH1 not equal to EVO F F put C CH1 comma fp3 so ch1 is equal to f get c of fp1 then f close of fp1 next ch2 is equal to f get c of fp2 while ch2 not equal to evof then f put c ch2 is it sorry ch2 comma fp3 so ch2 is equal to f get c of fp2 so then f close of fp2 so then f close of fp3 so then this is 
hch next main close so this is the given program so now we are taken two files so this is input dot c input one dot c and this is another file input two dot c and this is another file output dot c so this is hi this is good morning okay so here this is hi good morning so this is the output so here we can take uh, two files so first file is input 1.c so that contains the information hi second file input 2.c that contains the information good morning so now first we have to merge the contents of input 1.c and input 2.c so the merged information can be transferred to the output.c the output.c contains hi good morning okay so here there are uh, three files are there so that is file input 1.c input 2.c and output.c there are three files are there each and every file has a particular file pointer so first file pointer is the pointer fp1 second file pointer is pointer fp2 third file pointer is pointer fp3 so these file pointers pointing to the data type called file here file you can write in capital letters compulsory next one so there are uh, ch1 and ch2 are two characters its data type is char so clr is here first we have to read the information of input 1.c and input 2.c okay so these two files are opened in read mode so fp1 is equal to f open input 1.c that is opened in r mode r is nothing but read mode second file fp2 is equal to f open input 2.c r mode okay so the merged information is uh, right into another file that is output.c so this file can be opened in write mode so fp3 is equal to f open output.c that is we put in write mode because what is the information in file 1 and what is the information in file 2 that information that can be transferred or write into the third file output.c so the third file can be write uh, the third file mode is write mode okay first ch1 is equal to f get c of fp1 so now we want to read the information of first file first file so that is uh, input.c so whatever the information that information read from the file that can be transferred to ch1 okay that can be assigned to the variable that is ch1 so now check if the character ch1 is the end of the file or not so why ch1 not equal to eof so if it is not the end of the file so then f put c ch1 comma f fp3 so fp3 points to the output dot c file whatever the character that is read from file pointer f read by the file pointer fp1 that can be assigned to the character variable ch1 first we have to check if the character variable ch1 is the end of the file or not if it is not the end of the file so then that character can be write into the fp3 write into the fp3 fp3 is points to the output.c file 
so then we are incrementing the five pointer for incrementing the five pointer so this statement is used ch1 is equal to f get c of fp1 so this procedure is repeated until the end of the file is occurred first h character can be read h not equal to eof so then f put c h comma f3 so the character h can be write into the fp3 file now we are incrementing the file pointer now check the uh, now read the second character i so that character can be assigned to the variable ch1 so why ch1 not equal to eof i not equal to second character i i not equal to eof condition true f put c i comma f3 so ch1 contains now i character i that character is transferred to fp3 so now incrementing the file pointer now read the next character from the fp1 file 1 so that is end of the file ch1 contains the end of the file so end of the file not equal to end of the file so condition false then f close of fp1 so the output dot c file contains hi next go to the second file ch2 is equal to f get c of fp2 so now reading the first character from the second file that is pointed by the file pointer 2 so that is first character is g so ch2 now contains character g g not equal to eof condition true so whatever the character contained by the ch2 that character is write into the uh, file 3 that is pointed by fp3 so again incrementing the file pointer to now it goes to the second character bo so now reading the next character that is bo that can be assigned to ch2 so ch2 contains now bo bo not equal to eof so that character ch2 contains the character bo the bo can be write into the fp3 so in the same way so up to up to reach the end of the file whenever we are reading the end of the file character so ch2 contains the end of the file character end of the file not equal to end of the file false so then goes to the control goes to the out of the loop so then f close up fp2 so then now the third file output.c contains first file information hi second file information good morning so then we can close the fp2 now the third file contains the information hi good morning so this information is the combination of file 1 information and file 2 information so now f close of f3 so third file can be closed so get ch so this is the program this is very very important program write a c program to merge the contents of file 1 and file 2 that information can be write into the another file that is output.c so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so dibbela srinivas rao dibbela srinivas rao so thank you if you like this video please forward to your friends in other college also thank you